It's Carbo. Um, what do we have? Hi, buddy. Today, we're going to talk about a question we asked David Schwartz regarding is the XRPL quantum proof and can it be acted by a quantum computer or a quantum AI? Right. So that's a question that formed in my head after coming across this article here from The Hill. And it says... Boy, did it start some off. Yeah, is is YQK coming? Time to get quantum safe. And that title was like intriguing to me, right? So What's as I went, YQK, by the way. Yeah, so YQK for the younger guys, people, girls and gals. Um, Scarbo explained to them what means Y two K. Y two K. God, and they're going to be young, a bit like myself. Y two K was year two thousand, where nineteen ninety nine. All they kept saying was the whole world's going to crash because computers are going to crash. It was a big panic. Every, the whole world was in panic that everything was going to come to an end, basically, and stop everything. Yeah, everything that had a computer everything. in it, right? Anything that was digital was going to not work anymore from the till in the supermarket to traffic lights to every computer in the world. Everything was going to stop, and it was a big thing in 1999. Um, planes were going to fall from the sky, uh, yeah, cars everything. and trucks were going to crash. But pl planes wouldn't know how to fly because it weren't ready for year 2000. And, and it had to why... do with a, a Linux limitation, uh, where in oh. Linux systems, the, the time wouldn't roll over properly to... The year anyway, that, that's technical. I'm just talking from a kid. <laughs> it was up the pub and the world was going to end and everything else. And there was going to party like it's 1999 because it was a big thing and everyone was going to go for it because the world was going to end. Technology, it was the end of the world as we know it. And 2001, New Year come and nothing happened. Which well, nothing happened. On. Yeah, which just carried which on. Just carried on. Also, yeah. because things got fixed in the five or ten years before that. Ah, they didn't tell us that though. They just yeah. let us panic mm -hmm. into disorder. And... Never miss a good opportunity to create a worldwide panic about something. Oh, buddy, it was heaven. Everyone had so much to talk to. Mom and dad panicking. What's going to happen? What's going to happen? Yeah, no people wrote knows. books, movies. Yeah, I mean, you everything. name it. Everything happened. Anyway, so reading this article, it talks about the YQK derived from Y2K, where Q stands for quantum. So the big worry is obviously nowadays that we have quantum computers coming, new technologies. Are our blockchains for the cryptocurrencies going to be safe, right? So yeah. I, I'm going to post the article link here below in the, to the video, and you guys can read up on it. Um, so I was wondering, because we, we love XRP, will XRP be safe, right? So I went ahead and wrote this question, um, and I directed it at David, uh, boy, Brad, and Rietze. Did that question, has that question, did it, has that question gone viral or what? Yeah, I mean, I did not honestly expect him to answer. Um, is the XRPL quantum proof? Can it be hacked by a quantum computer or a quantum AI? Bitcoin and the others are at risk, correct? Thank you. So I really, no, honestly, I didn't expect Yay, the response. Um, no. <laughs> uh, what I we... told him, my mate <laughs> asked you a question, but he <laughs> wants to know. <laughs> so we got a response from David, right? Yeah. Um, XRPL is not quantum resistant. It could be made so, but with the present mechanisms we have, the result would kind of suck because the quantum resistant algorithms we know of all have painful disadvantages in blockchain applications. See, that he lost me there with quantum resistant algorithms. I, mean, <sighs> lost me I think it, it has to do that a lot of the, uh, 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 because cryptocurrency is not an encryption, it's an algorithm. Mm. But this is very technical. I mean, we could do other oh. YouTubes about this. It's too technical. Uh, we'll have to get yeah. someone, we'll have to get David Schwartz into explain. Who knows we could get David Schwartz on here one day. Hey, what do you guys it. think? Leave in I'll a comment. Do you want David I'll Schwartz? Ask him. ask him. I'll ask him. I'll get him on. So um, that was the first part of his answer. And I didn't really... have a clue that I was already going to thank him at this point. Um, but then he kept on writing. My current thinking is that we monitor the state of the art carefully 
and implement the best quantum resistant algorithms whenever the risk looks to be within about five years of materializing. I don't think we are there yet. And he continues, oh, cold, boy, wallets, continue? cold wallets that hold only XRP and have never performed a transaction are already quantum resistant. Also, if you disable the master key and set a new regular key, your quantum, your quantum account, your account is quantum <laughs> resistant quantum. <laughs> until you perform another transaction, and then you can change it again. Then you're bogged. Yeah, you're so not up. done at this point, he adds. No, no, he loves one, this. Yeah, one last thing. Unlike some, some blockchains, once quantum resistant algorithms are deployed, XRPL users will not need a new receiving address to take advantage of them. So that's nice, right? Existing yeah. accounts can be resecured. Yeah. So and this it went on and on. Yeah, and on this and on, unleashed baby. like a on, firestorm on. of questions and retweets, and there was a lot going on here. So, so for all this, how could they refuse to come on? Let's be honest. <laughs> we've, we've made him popular. We we would need some Twitter. more questions of the same caliber, I believe. You know, oh, no, no, we've can... made him popular. He's got to come on. Who knows? Maybe he would agree to come on. Yeah, I can ask him. <clears throat> I'll ask him. Um, He's only a man. <laughs> a couple of days later or a day later, we had also Vitze, who was tagged in that uh, reply, kind of indirectly, though. I didn't find there was another direct, but I, can't fi I couldn't find it in a short time. Um, so because people say here... Mm, I think Hi. it was to do with, sorry, I think it was to do with cold wallets and things like that. Someone asked about um, if they receive or send to the wallet and people were saying, no, it's when you actually make a transition with that wallet rather than receive. And I think this is kind of where it went regarding this. Yeah. Like people were arguing about, sending and receiving into the wallet rather than receiving the wallet still keeps it a cold wallet it's when you use it to transfer out of it yeah you don't do a transaction from it no. right um no. and i think the karma capital here had that uh, comment you know and vita basically affirmed what david said yeah um, we're years away there will be ways to, to deal with this before that happens. So basically, I'm going to get into it. Quantum. <laughs> everybody chill. Okay. We're not I'm there getting yet. Into quantum. You're going to get a quantum computer, Scarbo. I'm going to invent one. <laughs> I'm going to create it. <laughs> well, I don't know. I mean, that was out quite exciting, Lego. right? That was out of Lego. Exciting. I'll make it out of Lego. There you go. <laughs> Lego. Yeah. Lego. <laughs> Do we get paid by Lego for promoting them? <laughs> did you have anything you wanted to say to this Garbo? no other than i'm gonna try my best to get him on i don't know what, what we'd say to him but there you go but i'll ask him other than that no it's read read try and find the tweet read the tweet it's interesting i'll it's post the links to the tweets read. yeah, it's, yeah quite interesting. it's an interesting read of people's responses and views and everything like that and David Schwartz carried on answering people, which was pretty amazing, really. Yeah, and I'm sure we'll come up with new questions for him yeah. in the future. <laughs> That's it, right? How tall are you? <laughs> That's it. To the moon!